Let's take a problem on factorization through common factors. Factorize seven x y plus fourteen y. Now, as I said, the easiest way to do this is you should always write these two expressions in two different lines and see which one is the greater. So here you have 7xy. When I say greater, what I mean is which has the larger number of variables. So I can write this as 7 always leaves some space, you know, so that in case there's something that needs to be plugged in. Normally this will contain of numbers. Okay, and then there are variables. So whenever you are doing the factorization, keep some gap between the numbers in this thing. So I can write this as 7 into x into y. Okay, now when you do the factorization of 14y, what you can do is 14 we know can be written as 2 into 7. So 2 you find out whether this number that you are writing here, the factor, is also present in the first one. If it is, just write it below this in number. Right? 2 into 7. So I already have a 7 here. I write 7 here. Into x. Do I have x? No. So I leave this behind. Into y. And then what I do is, I try to find out what are the common numbers here. So from here, I see that 7 is common and y is common, right? So I pick up these two common numbers and I write them as 7 into y. So these are the common numbers and I put on a bracket to it. And then I multiply this by what? I multiply this by what is left behind in the first one which is x, what is the sign between these two numbers? Plus, so I always write a plus here in between. This plus gets factored here. Plus, what? 2. Or I can write this as 7y into x plus 2. So the factors that I get are 7y and x plus 2. So the factors here are 7y and x plus 2. If you multiply these two, what you will get is this. You want to try it out? Let's say 7y into x will give you what? 7xy plus 7y into 2 will give you what? 2 into 7 gives you 14 and y, which is nothing but this number. So that's how you do a factorization through common factors.